Want to know how to make an Excel Gantt chart? Let's have my friend Jason walk us through it. Start with a blank spreadsheet in Excel. Then create columns for task name, start date, end date, and duration, and fill those cells with the basic details of your project tasks. Next, we'll use a simple formula to subtract the start date from the end date. We entered C2 minus B2 into the duration field for our first task. Place your mouse on the right corner of D2 until you see a black plus sign and drag your mouse down to paste the formula into the remaining cells in column D. Click the insert tab and select the bar chart icon. Choose stacked bar from the 2D bar section to add a chart to your worksheet. Right click the chart and choose select data. Click the plus sign under the legend entry section to add the first data set. Name it start date, then click on the Y values field and select the data in the start date column. Repeat this process to add a second entry called duration, making sure to select the data in the duration column for the Y values. Click the horizontal axis labels field and select the entire task name column. Copy the start date for the first task in your project into a blank cell below your task list. Format that cell as a number rather than date. Repeat this process for the end date for the last task in your project. Now select the horizontal axis of your Gantt chart. Right click and choose format axis. Change the minimum value to the number you got when you converted the first task date into a number and the maximum value to the number for your last task date. Hit enter to remove the extra time from the beginning of your chart. Under units in the axis option section, you'll find major and minor fields. These determine the timeline intervals for your Excel Gantt chart. Enter 7.0 into the major field to set the project timeline in your Excel Gantt chart at weekly intervals. And if you want a monthly Gantt chart, set the major field to 30.0. Select the vertical axis, right click it, and choose format axis. Tick the categories in reverse order checkbox. Click on the first portion of a taskbar with two colors to select all of the bars in your first data series. Then click the paint bucket tab and expand the fill section. Select no fill to remove the blue bars that precede your task start dates. And that's it. You've created your very own weekly Gantt chart in Excel. Want to make a Gantt chart faster and much easier? With Team Gantt, you can create a beautiful and complex Gantt chart in moments with things like subgroups, dependencies, workload management, and much more. Try it out today at teamgant.com.